RC Gate from Squared Circle Rants, and in less than a week, we are getting Extreme. That's right, Extreme Rules next Saturday. And I'm going to go through, well, all the matches um, and just talk about what I'm excited to see, what I'm not so excited to see. I'm not going to do predictions because. On that day, I'll be live on the Squared Circle Rants Facebook page, not only reacting to what I'm seeing, but making on-the-spot predictions. So right before the ring bells, I'll make my choice. If I am wrong, however, and I hope I'm not, I'm going to have to drink a mysterious drink. Could be bad, could be awful. Um, I have no clue what they're going to be. I'm leaving that up to my niece and nephew. Why did I decide to do this? Well, I'll regret things later. <laughs> but yeah, so make sure to check it out. We will be starting at 5 p.m. I'll have the link to the Squared Circle Rands Facebook page in the description below. But without further ado... Let's go through these matches. So, the first match I want to talk about is the Brawling Brutes, Sheamus, Holland, and not going to say it, not going to say it, Pete Dunn <laughs> versus Imperium, Walter, and oh, dang it, I forgot their names. But anyway, I'm so good at this. Anywho, yes, the Brawling Brutes versus Imperium. Now, this should be an awesome match every wrestler involved is always puts on one hell of a show and they're gonna beat the hell out of each other and i know that it's extreme rules and i'm very happy that every match has a stipulation because it's it's, it's extreme rules and last year what we got maybe one two extreme rules matches or some stipulation Having said that, though, I am not a fan of the name of the match. We're going to have a Donnybrook, which I get that it's a UK thing or <clears throat> or maybe not just a UK thing, but it fits all these people, I guess. Why not just call it an Extreme Rules match? I mean, I know you already have an Extreme Rules match, but it just... It makes it silly. It makes it feel like it should just be on a SmackDown or something, which I know the reason they're not doing because Sheamus is going for the Intercontinental title on Friday again against Walter. I'm not saying that name either. <laughs> but I, it's just a little silly. It still should be amazing, should be fun to watch, just not too high up on the name. Next All right, match. next up, we have Liv Morgan defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against uh, Ronda Rousey. Sorry, I. it's hard to hide. I don't want to say hate my dislike for Rousey, but I, I'm going to watch this match. Typically, I just fast forward through her matches. Well, I, I kind of have to watch it if I'm going to do a live reaction video. <laughs> um, but it should be decent like it's, it's extreme rules uh they're going with the storyline that lives trying to be hardcore or be more aggressive i love live i've loved the wrestler ever since nxt it's just not showing and ronda herself she's gotten a little better here and there but she's not as good as they hype her up to be in the ring like she still has some work i mean i know i'm just a regular dude obviously not a wrestler i'm just a fan but yeah i mean with a hardcore extreme element it should pull something out of both these people but it so it should be just all right i'm not i can't wait to see it <laughs> all right that was quick on to the next one. All right, now a match that I am definitely 
more excited for Matt Riddle versus Seth frickin' Rollins in a fight pit. Oh, yes. I can't wait to see this. This um, rivalry feud, whatever you want to call it, however you want to name it, has been boiling up. And this, this is the perfect way to end it. And I hope they do. Don't pull an AEW where here's this big match and they're still going. They're still feuding. No, this should be the end of this feud. I just hope, I really hope, it comes across as an actual fight, not a wrestling match, a fight. I mean, you're in the fight pit. Make it more of a fight. Oh, man. I mean, I know Riddle can pull it off because he's, what, been through two of these. Seth has never been in there, but Seth can show aggression, like, I know he's going to come out as animated as he always is. You know, ah, ha, ha, oh, 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 but I just hope once the fight starts, it's a fight. Go brutal. I know they can't go bloody or Triple H won't go bloody because he doesn't want to lose his money. No, I mean, you don't always have to go bloody. Uh, again, bringing up AEW. Blood once in a while is good, but we've seen it so many times it just gets old. I know WWE kind of did that in the past where it was just way too much. Um, but yes, make it a fight. Going to be awesome. I'm really excited for this one. On to the next match. Now here's a women's match. I'm really behind. Love both of the competitors, but we're going to get one hell of a show. I know that. We have Bianca Belair defending her Raw Women's Championship against the returning Bailey, And I am so, so happy that Bailey is back. Even happy that Dakota Kai is back and EO Sky, Shirai, however you want to say it. Not too, as you can tell, I'm not too broken about that name and change. But <laughs> no, this should be a really good match. We've all missed Bailey. I think my only criticism about this is Bailey going for the title so soon from her return. Um, but then again, that's not entirely her fault. It's not a huge fault on the booking. It's more of a their booking of the women's division. I mean, they're getting better. I will have to admit that. But since the women's division isn't at its highest, I can see why they pushed Bailey up front because who else has been shining on TV lately that would deserve this kind of match? Um, and yeah, and the fact that it's a ladder match, it's going to be really exciting. A lot of big bumps are probably going to happen. I we know Bailey can go, and we know Bianca can go. Okay, okay. So let's go to the next match. Ooh, and this should be another great one. Uh, both, I don't think you would say well-known for their, well, no, they're known for their technical wrestling, but I like this, that every match has a different, not just stipulation, but element. Uh, but yes, we have Edge versus Finn Balor in a I quit match. I don't know who's going to say it. Like, even, I I'm not predicting. I told you I wasn't going to predict on this video, but even getting to the event, this is a toss-up. I'm really going to have to come up with a good answer for the day of the event, but it's going to be good. Like, we know, even though he's seasoned, I'm trying to be nice there, <laughs> Edge can still go, still put on a five-star show. Finn, he can go. Always has been able to. Now, are they going to wrestle more of a technical, professional wrestling? Are they going to add weapons to really get their opponent to say, I quit? Is the Judgment Day going to get it? Wait, that's, sorry. That's a dumb question. We know the Judgment Day is going to get involved. Ray's going to be a part of it, too. <laughs> what am I thinking? Um... I hope with this, just like with Rollins and Riddle, 
that this is the end, although I don't think it will be. They're going to be doing this feud for a little while now. And it hasn't gotten stale, but they're definitely getting there. You, you know what I mean? Um, to where we might get tired of seeing this feud. But I so far, I love everyone involved. Um, can't wait to see them put on one hell of a performance. But again, I mean, I got to say it. I don't know who's going to be the one to win this. We'll just have to wait and see. But you won't have to wait and see me talk about the next match. I'm trying. Oh, if you think that the Brawling Brutes versus Imperium is going to be brutal, this one has got to be more brutal. I mean, the way they've been telling the story of the returning well sorry first let's set it up mcintyre <laughs> sorry about that mcintyre versus carrion cross in a strap match it's going to be brutal um the story has been great the returning cross just all of a sudden targeting mcintyre mcintyre who wants to get back to the title has a detour with cross because he wants to put him down wondering why the heck did you come after me Man, these, God, I mean, McIntyre, who's still in great freaking shape, looks like a beast. Cross, yeah, he, he's a little smaller, but man, the muscles alone on that dude, the way he presents himself, the way he goes after his opponent with just this viciousness. And I love that they made this a strap match. Because, you know, when McIntyre said, I don't want you running away. I want you right here. And Cross, he ain't broken up about it. <laughs> he ain't a runner. He'll, all right, let's go. Oh, man. I just thought of something. Can you imagine how red their backs or chest, arms are going to be from that strap? I mean, we know Sheamus is going to be red as hell from all the chops, but... God, this is going to be brutal. Are we going to get another McIntyre picture <laughs> where he was just, oh, it looked freaking gnarly. But yeah, man, I am so excited for this. I love McIntyre. I love that Cross is back with Scarlett. I see you. I see you. But yeah, it's going to be so brutal, but so great. It's going to be awesome. Now, next up, <clears throat> well, that's the end of all the matches. But I want to talk about one more thing that I am so excited for, even though we have no idea what's going to happen. Let's talk about it. Ah, uh, the white rabbit. What is in store for Extreme Rules? Are we getting a debut? Are we getting a return? Nobody knows, but all clues and signs point to... Bray Wyatt, baby. Oh, I hope it's him. If it's not, it better be something more exciting, more surprising. Um, but also all the clues and little videos, QR codes also point to something happening in Extreme Rules. And I can't wait. Like, I'm excited for all the matches, but I'm really excited to see how this plays out. <clears throat> well, there you have it, folks. Those are my thoughts and prayers. No, those are my thoughts on all the matches going on in Extreme Rules and possibly what could happen. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow the Squared Soaker Rants hashtag. Follow Squared Soaker Rants on all sorts of social media including the Squared Soaker Rants Facebook page, where I will be going live for Extreme Rules and hopefully not drinking a whole bunch of bad crap. So let's hope my predictions are on point. Uh, make sure... So yes, also make sure to follow the Squared Soaker Rants Facebook page. Follow Squared Soaker Rants again on all sorts of social media. 
Uh, follow me, RC Gate, on all sorts of social media. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you like the video, let me know. Show me some love, folks, and can't wait till Saturday. Let me know how excited you are, how unexcited you are. All right, enough rambling and not knowing how to end this video, so... Smash! <laughs> 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 <laughs>